Welcome back for week five of Road to Backbreaker. We are in Charlotte. 53,000 in attendance. It is raining outside with 21 miles per hour winds. That's definitely going to affect the game. We have to stop their running back. Dominic Gregg, I am familiar with. Let's get on it. Eight men in the box. We start to stay off on defense. This is not Gregg. This is the fullback, and he just broke one. The fullback picks up 23 yards on that game. Now they come out with the fake toss. I love the game plan. Had everybody leaning. 10 yard gain on that play. Second and eight. Here we go. They throw a dangerous pass over the head of Kevin Young. And they completed for 13 yards. Driving the ball down the field. But back to life. Back to reality. Picked off by 39. Don't throw it on Isaiah Hippert. He is a ball hawk. They should know that by now. This is a running team. So their quarterback is not that great. They normally rely on the run. So I, I should say the same thing about us. Because we throwing into the win. We rely on the run. Why are we throwing it? Picked off, gave him a ball right back in scoring range where they will run play action. We can't locate the ball. He had a shot at that. Even though it was triple coverage, he had a shot at it. This time they will get stripped by Dean Elliott. They did recover. Look at the replay. Elliott took the ball right out of there. They recover. They will kick the field goal. The kick is up and it is no good. The wins, 21 miles per hour wins. Even though that was a short field goal, you saw how, to, how strong those wins are. So we back on offense. We go on the attack with Anderson. He picks up seven. This time, Anderson, can he get the first down? Yes, he will. Trips, falls forward for eight yards. A little trickery. Put Stezzo Woods in the backfield. Let's see if we can use that speed. He can't get to the outside. Lost five on that play. Now McLucky from the gun. He will get sacked. Lost nine. That will lead us to third and 24. So we got a third and long. McLucky, we're going to try to use his strong arm, but he's under pressure. Gets out of the pocket, has a chance to throw it downfield. He will, and there goes Stezzo Woods, and he dropped it. Stezzo Woods couldn't pull it in. Oh, man, this is why we had McLucky in the game, so he could throw the ball downfield. But my goodness, come on, Stezzo. We need that. So we back on defense. We caused another fumble. It looked like it was Dean Elliott again. Let's get the replay. Yes, it is. Big number 90. Forces that fumble and once again look like they recovered it, but they was forced to punt it away with Ryan Hahn having trouble feeling the punt. The ball is bouncing. Hahn touched it and they recovered for the touchdown, but no, they marked it down at the one yard line. They marked it at the goal line. Don't ask me what this dude doing. I guess he had to get his crunches in. Man. So later in the first half, they get their driving again. They picks up six with Greg. This time they will try to swing it out to him. He picks up a yard, leads us to a third down. Can't get him off the field. Yes, we do. Looks like number 90 again. Dean Elliott was in there along with Roderick Moore. They was trying to set up a screen pass. We got that too fast. So back on offense, Colin Hedges from the gun, getting pressured up the middle, throwing deep downfield. And that's Davin Cooper pulls in one for 42 yards. And now we will go to the ground with Darius Anderson falls forward four yards. We set up screen, and that is a disaster of a screen. We try to get Stetzel Woods in the open field. Didn't work. So Hedge is under pressure. He will go down. Lost eight yards. And that will put us back on defense after we punt it away. They swing one out to the tight end. He picks up 15 yards. First down. Now, this time, they will throw it down the field. This time, that's McKeon working one-on-one -on, -one on hip, but they did get him on that play. So we are back. And they run a draw to Dominic Greg. I told you about it. I know him about him. And this is what I know about him. He is strong. He is fast. He is hard to stop. 38-yard run on now. He looked like Earl Campbell. Boom. Look at that. How he ran over Teddy Harris and then outran the rest of the defense. That could be a problem even with eight men in the box. So on offense, Colin Hedges, he will step up and take off. That's five yards. Second and five. Hedges from the gun. He will slide to the right. He will take off with it. Hedges has blocking on the outside. Picks up a couple of blocks from Caden Ashmore. Hedges is still running. One man to beat. Picks up 45 yards after he got tackled. That will lead us to this fourth and four. Easy field goal and it fell short. The win is too strong. We will go into the half this way. He is one for four on the season. 10 nothing. Charlotte is up and we come back. Second half. Dalton Hendricks. Let's get him going. Cuts up field. Didn't know he had that in him. Picks up nine yards on that carry. Second and one. Hendricks will take it outside. One on one the linebacker. That he'll beat them every time. Hendricks will pick up 20 yard gain. 
on that run. Now, he will slide to the right this time, beat the safety. Hendricks will take off, picks up the first down and more. Cuts inside. Hendricks will get out of bounds after 31 yard gain. So we go back to the ground to Anderson. Anderson making moves, picks up the first down. And then this time, Stazo Woods. Can we get him to the outside? We cannot. And he lost a couple yards on that play. Second and goal, we will set up a quick screen to Chris Loin, the most underrated receiver on our squad. All he does is he just does his job. That's all. Gets the ball over the goal line, puts us on the board. So we're down three. Back on defense, we was able to get them off the field on third down. And that will set up this punt. Well, Ryan Hine looked like he touched it, but he didn't this time. And they would mark it down just inside the 10 yard line. So back on offense, we swing it out to Stelzel Woods. This time he has rum. Stelzel Woods picks up the first down, 11 yard gain from the gun. Colin Hedges scanning the field. We'll take a shot downfield, throwing it towards the sideline. He has Hendricks. Hendricks pulls it in for 45 yards. And we go back to the ground with Stelzel Woods. And Woods look like he's about to get the first down. Yes, he will. Landed on top of a player. That's how he got the first. We set up screen this on this play. That got blown up. Anderson couldn't get to the outside. Number 91, Sizemore with the big play. From the gun, this time Hedges will go down. That will force a third and long where we'll try to get McLucky to take a shot towards the end zone. Could not get the receivers downfield in time, so we're back on defense. We need a stop right here, and we get it from J.J. Wilson. Wilson has blocking. Probably one juke too many that messed that return up. So we on the offense. We go back to our trusted running game. Darius Anderson picks up eight. That will lead us to four and one. We will QB sneak it. McLucky picks up the first down. Then we hand it off to Anderson again. Picks up five. Third down play. Anderson will get stopped. So that, but that set up an easy field goal. We got to knock this one through. The kick is up. It is good. We tie the game at 10. Can we come up with a stop? Less than two minutes remaining in the football game. We do. We stop them on third down. They will kick it off to Artavis Brown, who makes one move. Now he has a clear path to the end zone. Artavis Brown crosses the 30 to 25 to 20. Will outrun the punter. Artavis Brown just took this one to the house. And that is the ball game. With less than a minute left on the clock, the defense did close it out. And that is it. That's how we're going to finish this one. Like this thing. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We take this win 17 to 10 natural motion over the, the Yellow Jackets with 54 passing yards. You see Colin Hedges was 3 for 5. McLucky didn't complete no passes except one to the defense. We gave up five sacks. And on the ground, Colin Hedges, five carries, 104 yards, went a little too fast. Uh, receiving not the greatest numbers but Hendricks pulled one in David Cooper pulled one in deep Chris Loing made that touchdown on a quick screen JJ Wilson big interception along with Hippert we got some money this time week six we are facing the Chicago Chicago talent so I will see y'all in the next video well we will be going defense we have enough money to sign a player we will sign us a defensive player to try to get some of these offenses off the field. Maybe we just win this thing with defense because the offense have a lot of things that I'm looking at. Even uh, they got three positions on the offensive line that I want to address, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So to make sure we don't get blowed out, I'm going to have to start stacking up this defense.